Still heading south, we've got some rubies to find for somebody up in in, in La Mutt. Okay, let's have a look down here. Any chests? No. No. Oh, how how dull. Nothing here. Oh. Oh, those are just the houses where we've just come from. Uh, let's go south. Let's get back on the road then. Oh, it's getting dark. We'll have to stop and rest soon. Ah, now decision. To dis let's just rest up for tonight. Uh, I'll do camp until healed. Stop. And then stop it quick because oh, it seems to be night time. Uh, I don't want to camp until here though. Uh, can I camp until then? Ah, oh, right. Yeah, if you do that, it's dawn now. Ah. There. Oh, I see. That's one route we could take. Uh, so we could go south or east. Hmm. Let's. Have I saved it? I don't know. I just want to listen to the music again. Doodle. Do, 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 do. Right, uh, let's go this way then. Uh, we're going east. And the birds are singing as well. Oh! Hello! Oh, good job I saved. Uh, luckily he struggled to make sense of it all. As the enemy advanced his concentration was in two places, in, in his legs making certain of his stance and balance, and on his opponents wondering how they'd been able to track them down so quickly. All such thoughts were quickly forgotten as the enemy charged into their ranks. Three of them. Oh lordy. Right, okay. Uh, Locklear. There. Gorath. There. Owen. Blind him. Uh, shame you couldn't uh, couldn't buy any more magical spells for Owen. He, he needs all the help he can get. There you go. You're blind, matey. So, oh, miss. Right, right. You, right. Okay. I can't see what you're doing. Right. Okay. Attack that and black. Right, 70% accuracy, I bet he misses. Oh, he didn't! Look, uh, Gorath, 54%. Mm. Um, tell you what then, uh, blind... Yeah. Blind him. Oh, and we've got another turn, there we go. Get him, luckily, go on. Kick him in the nuts! Oh. Dear Lord, you were a rest. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh. Owen was lucky there. Uh, get him, Locklear. Hurrah. Get him, Gorath. Gorath needs some help with his uh, stuff. Right, okay. Owen is going to have to run now. Run! Right. Uh, right. Oh, get him, Gorath. Oh, Gorath, come on. You can do it. Get up there, Owen. Missed. Get him, Gorath. Oh, for crying out loud. Uh, Owen can't seem to go very far at all. This could... Mm. I don't know why he can't cast magic. I've obviously run, run out of something or rather that he needed. Um, okay. I think this is the end for Owen. Oh, thank God this bloke's useless. Right. Locklear. Oh. Oh, well done, Gorath. 21 damage. Go on, another twin. Oh. oh, they're all going. Is that bloke running away? Uh, luckily, uh, go there. Did you get a move? No, you don't. Oh, well done, Gareth. Uh, Owen? Yeah, there. Uh, 
Yep. Get him. Ah, oh, yes. If only Gareth could hit someone, it would actually be getting somewhere. Right. Uh, Luckily, down there. Hit him again, Gareth. Well done. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, Luckily, hit that one. Gareth. Hit that one. Hit that one. Hit that one. Go on, you have a go. We're all having a go. I might as well just pop, pop it on auto now. Oh, he got Owen. Dead! Hurrah! We all survived. Search the bodies, they may have valuable supplies. Luckily suggested, suggested, then amended. And make it quick, there are more of them waiting out here. Let's not be here when they return. The party's abilities have increased. Okay, three corpses. Corpse number one. Gareth, look for supplies. Yeah, come on, we're doing it anyway. It doesn't matter, doesn't matter how you feel about it, Gareth. Money. Uh, sword. Meh. Armor. Right. Uh, 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 uh. You, uh, ooh, rations. Nice. Share with party. Uh, ooh, good armor. And a sword. Where's the other one? There was three. So where's the third corpse? Uh, good question. Have we see, have we robbed him? No, we haven't. Money, not much, but in mind. Oh, excellent. Share with party. Uh, go on. Have you got room for that, Gareth? No. What have you got? Do you really need all these swords? Um. 68, 81, yeah. Sixty-four. Let's see. Got sixty. Oh, that's a little bit. We can't. We can't just take everything we find. It's, right. That's the way we came. We came. We were coming east. So where we're we going now? Then where's the road gone? Hang on. Right. We were heading east. So this way. Basically, I'm just going to save it. Doodaloo. Bump, bump. Anything over there? Oh, a temple. Oh, maybe we can get healed here. Let's go in. Incense world. Striding between the columns of the Templar. Templar. Heather made for the heavy yeah Heather 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 Locklear yeah if you, if you haven't missed that you if you've missed that you've not been paying attention Locklear made for the heavy wooden doors which have been sealed against the daylight and which preserved the privacy of any ceremonies in progress pulling a tasseled rope which hung next to the door he awaited the response of the door warden the temple of Gillian the meditation chamber ooh enter ooh, ooh tele teleport all right. The meditation chamber was spartan and strange to cold, seeming all the colder for the heatless flame which burned in the holy censer. The only bow, the only bow that had been made to what? Oh, it's not a bow. Bow. The only bow that had been made to adornment in the temple it appeared to be the strange pattern that had been etched upon the wall. Let's have a look at the incense. The fire was cold in italics. Unnerved by the unnatural flame, luckily he decided to explore elsewhere. Could enter there. Tele Do I? Shall I teleport? He's not going to teleport us anywhere. We'll get a map of places we can go, I should think. The design was odd. I see the mandala interests you. 
turning, Lockley noticed a thin young man standing in the archway, his hands hidden in the folds of his robe. While the relations between the temples and the new academy of magic at Stardock have been cool, it is one of the treasures they have passed on of the Shirani magic and has given us great mobility. Mobility? Lockley asked. How can a painting help you move? The acolyte smiled. It would be easier to explain by example. Tell me about a place you are familiar with, a place where you have spent a good deal of time. Lockley shrugged, describing the place he had grown up, the layout of the rooms, the various things associated with his home. Very good, the man replied. As you describe these things to me, doubtless you also experienced certain memories through which we were able to relive your past. In the same way, these mandalas help us locate a place. By memorising a pattern painted on the wall of a specific temple, we may will ourselves there. I could think my way home with this? No, the memory of your home would be too unfocused for you to make the attempt. But, if you were to memorise this pattern, you could return here by recalling its image in your mind when assisted by the power of the temple. Heather looked up at the mandala, lost in thought, for, for a moment his eyes soaking up the, intri in the intricacies of it. I assume there would be some fee associated with moving between locations. The acolyte nodded. As simple as it is in concept, it still requires a great deal of effort to move even a single individual, though, though I am told the Shirani Great Ones move around with less effort. I believe Pug wished to restrict our knowledge of this in some ways until we had proven we would not abuse the power. A bell sounded. This is going on a bit. A bell sounded. Abruptly a darkly robed priest swept into the room and came to a halt behind Locklear. I was alerted that you might desire to use the mandala. Desire, perhaps, but I haven't seen any of the other symbols, Lockie said. I don't suppose you could go with us. I am regret that I cannot... what? I am regret... I am regret that, that, that this does not make any sense. I am regret that I cannot assist you, the priest said. My duties require that I stay here to guide others that wish to arrive. I am sorry. So yes, so...